1971, the government of Uganda, together with JICA, founded the Nakawa Vocational Training Institute with a prime objective of enhancing vocational skills of young men and women that were going to suit the demands of the industries that were growing at the time. Now, over time, this very institute has been releasing 600 to 500 graduates per year, give or take. Recently, industry players, manufacturers, you can call them that, together with this very institute, held a working you know, workshop to try and understand the needs of the labor market. And this is what transpired. I would uh, advocate that uh, colleges and institutions give soft skills. A previous panelist uh, talked about it, and I would like to echo it. When they come on board, we understand that we are going to give them technical skills, but we've realized and noticed that they are really lacking in uh, soft skills. For example, the rail industry is very customer-centric. So we, at some point, they will uh, be able to coordinate with our customers. We want them to, to have communication skills. You have a mechanic or a technician who is very good, practically solves your problems, does everything. But when it comes to managing uh, maybe fellow workers is a problem. When it comes to communicating to a, a, a superior is a problem. Sometimes maybe if there's a chance maybe to talk to a, a customer, maybe the communication is not that representative of the company. And also when an opportunity arises, for maybe a promotion into a management level, you find there is a lot lacking to have this person raise up in those ranks. So I would really, uh, I would appreciate, or we would appreciate, if the institute put a little also focus in developing those soft skills, those managerial skills, so that when a student or a graduate trainee comes, they don't stay at that level. Five years down the road, they are somewhere at the managerial level. Right now, we are doing internship or apprenticeship. And this is what I'm doing. We are doing a training of two months. So I'm doing motor rewinding, as you can see here. So this, this is a motor, a three-phase induction motor from a LAS machine. And the gaps in the curriculum, and these are some of the things we are going to sit back on the drawing board and see how we can improve them. Actually, the soft skills, we already have them. We have communication skills within our curriculum. But I think we are going to see how we can change the methodologies of making sure we are disseminating this in relation to what the industry is interested in. So this, this interaction is very healthy and it is part of the reforms it is actually giving us feedback of our trainees. So we also want to get a feedback from these employers on how they find our trainees. And realizing the fact that when we send them for industrial attachment, we, we, we have just given them some basics of what they need to use when they are in the world of work. We want them to give us uh, the, 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 the way they find these students, whether what we give uh, them is appropriate, is enough to prepare them for this industry attachment. Now tabloids have made news of skills mismatch, but this is what I've been able to gather today. In as much as these students have all the technical skills that they need on the market, there is lack of soft skills, skills like communication and ICT skills. What do manufacturers want? They want TVET instructors to be on board so that these skills do match the gaps that are suited in the market. There is a lot of instructors in these technical and vocational skills to inhibit so that these students do not only have the technical and the engineering skills, but they also have the communication and the ICT necessary skills to suit the job and labor market. I'm Rona Nahabwe for Smart24 TV, Business Today.